Hi everybody, today is March 23rd, 2015. Japanese tea tests positive for Fukushima radiation. A package of powdered tea that was imported into Hong Kong from Japan tested positive for radioactive cesium-137, likely contamination from the Fukushima nuclear power plant that has been in disrepair for approximately four years. You know, with radioactive iodine, one glass of water, and 10 hours later you need more to get the same radiation. But with cesium-137 that's being produced at the Fukushima nuclear reactor, one glass of water and you're good for 30 years. The levels that were detected in the tea were below the limits that are considered safe by the Hong Kong government. But it was enough to raise concerns about food imports from Japan. The importer also acted quickly to take the product off the market. According to the New York Times, food from Japan has actually tested positive for radiation on a number of occasions in the past few years. The devastated nuclear power plant has been releasing radioactive water into the Pacific Ocean for a number of years and into the atmosphere as well. As of now, there is still no concrete cleanup plan for dealing with the disaster. Officials in Japan admit that 300 tons of radioactive water from Fukushima is entering the Pacific Ocean every 24 hours. According to a professor at Tokyo University, 3 gigabecquerels of cesium-137 are flowing into the port at Fukushima Daiichi every single day. Throughout the entire meltdown process, TEPCO and the Japanese government have downplayed the environmental impact of the Fukushima disaster. One politician was even arrogant enough to drink radioactive water in a desperate kamikaze move to save credibility for the government. All parties involved behind the scenes have remained completely silent, although the Fukushima Nuclear Accident Independent Investigation Committee has already concluded that the nuclear disaster at Fukushima was a profoundly man-made disaster that could and should have been foreseen and prevented. In contrast to the official reports coming from the government and the power company, test after test has shown that the meltdown has had a significant impact on the surrounding area. It was reported late last year the fish captured near the inoperative nuclear plant had traces of radiation that were 124 times above the level determined safe by the government. I certainly checked the origin of any products that I get from overseas rice, mushroom, tea, etc. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Thanks, nuclear power. I'll never have to drink again. Since the Fukushima nuclear accident, the Japanese government has lent tens of billions of dollars to Tokyo Electric Power Company to help it deal with compensation demands. Now officials at the Board of Audit say it could be decades before the company is able to repay the loans. The government issued bonds worth about $75 billion to help TEPCO cover the cost of compensation. The money is mainly intended for evacuees and for decontamination work. The government plans to recover the loans gradually through annual repayments and profits from the sale of TEPCO shares. But some experts say the total amount could exceed current estimates. TEPCO will face in 30 years the additional cost of disposing of all the waste generated by decontamination work. On top of that, the company will have to pay for the dismantling of Fukushima Daiichi and for the extraction of the fuel debris. TEPCO officials estimate total compensation costs for the victims of the nuclear accident will reach a total of $47 billion. They say they'll need another $8 billion to decommission the reactors and deal with contaminated water. About $3.7 billion will also be required to inspect and maintain related facilities until fiscal 2022. Government auditors point out problems with a system to treat contaminated water. TEPCO has been using a purifying system built by French company Arriva, but it failed after only three months in operation. The auditors are urging TEPCO to seek compensation from the manufacturer if it's found responsible for the malfunction. Utility officials say they're considering the proper course of action.